पूरा स्टूडियो स्वागत है आप सभी का वंस अगेन सो बड़ी पॉजिटिव इम्पॉर्टेंट अपडेट दैट हैज बीन रिटर्न उसको डिस्कस करेंगे शेयर करेंगे सो द फॉर्म ऑफ बैंक पेंशनर्स एक्टिविट्स टू द सिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमन जी हॉनरेबल फिनांस मिनिस्टर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया उनको जो लेटर लिखा गया है रिस्पेक्टेड मैडम रिगार्डिंग द स्पेशल अलाउंस अ बिग नेल इन द कॉफी ऑफ द पेंशनर्स so it is matter of extreme sensitivity as well as shock that with effect from 1st november 12 a certain percentage of basic pay of bank employees and officers has been deducted and it is being given in the name of special allowance so his intention is totally malicious so this is to reduce the retirement benefits like pension gratuity which are determined on the last drawn basic pay and this is in violation of the bank employees pension regulations 1995 and payment of gratuity act 1972 however whatever salary components there are in banks or elsewhere their purpose is defined so many allowances like hra city compensatory allowance special assistant allowance key holding allowance daftari allowance cash pn allowance washing allowance have been in practice in bank for a long time for specific purpose or additional workers so duty related allowances were earlier called special allowances and now are called special pay and are eligible for the terminal benefits but with effect from 1st november 12 basic pay has been reduced between 7.75 percentage and 11 percentage and named as special allowance which has no defined purpose or additional function the underlying objective of creating special name as special allowance which has no defined purpose or additional function the underlying objective of creating special allowance is to reduce the basic pay component which attract terminal benefits like pension gratuity etc obviously the intention is to cut future pension and gratuity benefits therefore its intention has been malicious to deny and deprive the legitimate rights under other acts like payment of gratuity act 1972 bank employee pension regulations 1995 a subordinate regulations framed under the banking companies nationalization act 1970 1980 etc so banks and unions have worked together to formalize special allowance agreements under the indian dispute act 1947 through which they curtail the quantum of pension and gratuity which and which is in bank employee pension regulations 1995 and payment of gratuity act 1972 so in the seventh pay settlement two pay scales one can't imagine were made on 1616 1684 indices with facts from 1st april 1998 so basic pay formulated at 1684 indices was to get wages and another pay scale at 1616 indices was made to get pension so violating in terms of pension calculations on last pay drawn so due to huge protest it was rectified calling it as abbreviations with fact from 1st may 2005 and later honorable supreme court also quashed it with retrospective effects and ordered to pay the dues along with 9% interest to the pensioners affected between april 1998 and april 2005 so while taking the pension option the bank employees has chosen the pension option keeping in mind that the prevailing pay and allowances which formed the basis of 50% pension so the pension was a quid pro quo deal between banks and bankmen on very specified terms and conditions prevailing in the RBI and central government pension rules so banks have no right to tamper with the basic structure of deal but the banks tampered not once but many time and the tampering done by the bio special allowance is the biggest most dangerous and long term tampering ever due to which the pension entitlements is being reduced from 50% in settlement after settlement 
सो ये यहाँ पे डाटा उन्होंने दिया गया है सो फॉर योर इन्फॉर्मेशन विद फैक्ट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट नवंबर 2012, 17 एंड 22 स्पेशल अलाउंस हैज बीन 7.74 और अभी वो बढ़ के थर्टी के अराउंड पहुँच चुका है सो एज अ रिजल्ट पेंशन हैज़ बिन रिड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू थर्टी इतनी पेंशन दोस्तों कम हो चुकी है सो so, यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं कैसे विद द कॉन्टीन्यूस और स्ट्रैच अलाउंस द पेंशन विल कंटिन्यू टू बी रिड्यूसिंग फ्रॉम 50 परसेंट सो एंड इन द नेक्स्ट थ्री टू फोर्थ बेज सेटलमेंट इट विल बी रिड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम 50 परसेंट टू 20 परसेंट सो बैंक मैन एलिजिबल फॉर पेंशन विल एक्सटिंग्यूज फ्रॉम द पे रोल बाय द टाइम ऑफ बेज सेटलमेंट इन टू एंड इट विल नॉट बी रॉन्ग टू से इन क्लियर वर्ड that the quantum of pension has been frozen at the level of 10th bps 6 joint note and this continues aur ye aage bhi chal raha hai so in this way the banks are carrying out a long term plan to loot billions of rupees from millions of pensioners so a single judge bench of honorable kerala high court has held the special allowance illegal the appeal is before the double bench and there are 14 other writ petitions pending against special allowances in various high courts across the country the solicitor general of india has requested the honorable supreme court to transfer all the petitions of similar nature to the delhi high court for hearing together and it is the process of it is in the process of hearing to abhi wo hearing mein friends chal raha hai public sector branch their associations iba and unfortunately powerful bodies like the government of india have come together to crush to crush the rights of hapless pensioners and are bent and are bent on justifying the special allowance and there are large number of such unfair court cases the image of government is becoming that of the litigant that too against those bank pensioners bank employees who have contributed significantly in building a world class banking institutions in india which has been praised wholeheartedly by the honorable prime minister as well as yourself on various occasions so we seek your intervention in this regard such nefarious activities of banks iba and unions regarding pension eligibility cannot be tolerated so the government will have to stop this crime and this is also very disgusting that because all this is happening in public sector bank under the cognizance and knowledge of dfs please intervene mr jn shukla ji so badi hi uh, achhi post hai by mr jn shukla ji